Hello and welcome to the Gaming News Roundup. My name is Amata and I'm going to give you all the latest in gaming as of the 21st of May 2012. Fans of the Just Cause series will be happy to know that Square Enix has registered both Just Cause 3 and Just Cause 4 domain names. Now obviously both of these are probably just for preemptive measures and you know making sure no one else steals the domain and blah 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 all that kind of crap but it still looks pretty hopeful that they will be announcing Just Cause 3 officially very soon. If the recent rumours are to be believed, Just Cause 3 is actually already in development and scheduled for release this year, which could mean that um, it could be appearing at E3 next month, which would be pretty awesome. Avalanche has also committed to showing off one of its new projects at E3, so... Yeah, um, the studio founder has said that it isn't Just Cause 3 or Renegade Ops 2, but a modified version of the Just Cause 2 engine. So, obviously the game that they're talking about there isn't Just Cause 3, but it doesn't mean that it might not be mentioned at E3, because it seems like, you know, it's pretty much confirmed that these games are going to be happening, and obviously Just Cause 3 will be happening at some point fairly soon. I mean, hopefully we'll get an official announcement on that some point soon. I haven't played all of Just Cause 2, but I have played a little bit. And, excuse me, so sorry. Um, and, um, you know, I find it a really enjoyable, insane sandbox game. <laughs> so, uh, a, a, a Just Cause 3 or, or even 4 would definitely be awesome. I mean, I just hope that we get some official confirmation. It seems like it's, you know, pretty certain. Just whether or not it'll happen at E3, I don't know. But it seems like it might come out this year or maybe early like next year. So hopefully we'll get some word on that soon or whether that's actually going to happen. But it looks, it looks pretty likely that it is, which is definitely good news. As probably everyone in existence knows by now, Bioware have caved into the pressure and have been working on a Mass Effect 3 extended cut to basically change the ending, add a little bit to the ending, sorry, and basically calm the storm that kind of filed up after basically people were very upset with the abruptness of the original ending. Now I've expressed views on Mass Effect 3 and whether or not the ending should be changed, but I'm not going to go into that now, I'm just going to talk about this news here that confirms that some of the characters that are going to be appearing in the new DLC which will be adding to the ending. Now basically the voice actors for Admiral Hackett, Edie and Caden Alenko have all confirmed that they've been called back in to do further voice acting for the game. Uh, Lance Henriksen, who does Hackett's voice as you probably know, said I just did another session with them. They were saying there's a little bit of a problem with the abruptness of the ending so we did a whole series of things to add to the end of the game to, li to live up to the quality they've been doing. And Trisha Helfer and Raphael Svarge basically said similar things that they've been called back in to do some more voice acting for the game, which I'm sure will please a lot of you. Um, in a way, I guess they're, they're, they're doing it the right way with this whole change in the end in business. I wasn't sure if I agreed with them caving in, but that's a whole different topic which I've already covered, so I'm not going to go into it again. But it looks like they're doing it the right way and it definitely pleases me to see that you know they're actually making an effort and putting a lot of work into this DLC and I'm sure people will be pleased to see those characters coming back because Edie especially is obviously uh, one of the favourite characters of the series not only because she's voiced by Trisha Helfer but just because you know pretty interesting character and all that good stuff so yeah there's some information for you there guys on the extended cut there's no real news so far about um, what's going to be happening what they're adding Excuse me, I doubt that will be coming out anytime soon. They'll probably only find out when the DLC is actually released. But still, it's nice to know these small details. I just look forward to hearing a bit more about how they're going to do this because I'm very, very curious to see how they're going to pla uh, satisfy people. Because with such a massive series, people are still going to be unhappy to some degree because it's ending. You know, there's always going to be something wrong with it, no matter what you do. So, it's just going to be interesting to see, that's all. Overkill, the developers behind Payday the Heist, has announced it's collaborating with Valve, of all people, to, and I quote, do a very cool blend of Payday and Left 4 Dead. An interesting mix, to say the least, and be interesting to see what comes out of this. Basically, what they've said is, as perspective gamers will have noticed. Several hints have recently been dropped into Payday the Heist which has led to various rumours. We're excited to be able to confirm that an in-depth collaboration between Overkill 
and Valve is currently in production, working on a very cool blend of Payday and Left 4 Dead. I'm sure it's so exciting that we'll have some players check into the hospital before we are done. <laughs> some very nice wording there, that kind of made me laugh a bit. Um, but yeah, this is a very interesting mix, and anything with Valve in it automatically makes me sit up and pay attention, because obviously they're a very good company, one of the best, and they are known for releasing top quality games, you know, I don't think they've ever really released a game that they've, you know, personally developed that has been bad at all, you know, very, very high quality games, and everyone's come to expect that from them now, you know, Valve is one of the best companies out there, in my opinion, one of my personal favourites, so... It's interesting to see them working with another company, and especially on something like Payday. I mean, I can kind of see why they would mix it with Left 4 Dead, because Payday was also kind of multiplayer focus, working in a team to do the missions and stuff like Left 4 Dead, but obviously the two games are very, very different. Payday, you're robbing a bank, Left 4 Dead, you're surviving zombies and things, so... It's just going to be interesting to see what they mean by a blend between the two. I don't think the zombies will really be coming into it, but I just think some of the mechanics from Left 4 Dead will probably be there. So it'll just be interesting to see how they manage it. I've definitely, I've obviously played Left 4 Dead, but I've not really played much of Payday. I mean, I've seen people cover it on YouTube and things like that. So I'm just very, very curious to see what they're going to be doing this, and definitely going to be keeping my eye on this one. I think most people are going to sit up and pay attention the second they hear that it's Valve doing it and Left 4 Dead makes a Payday. Because yeah. Those two don't really sum up, they go together at first glance, so I'm very interested to see more. Unfortunately, the launch of Aliens Colonial Marines has been pushed back to 2013, with the game now set for World War release on February 12th. That is on, obviously, PS3, Xbox and PC, with the publisher saying that there's no confirmed date for the Wii U just as yet. Now, <clears throat> it's already been delayed once so far, with the tentative autumn 2012 release originally slated, but now, as you can see, pushback again. Now, the Gearbox CEO said, I am thrilled to announce the definitive launch date for Aliens Colonial Marines. Aliens Colonial Marines is a combination of a lifetime of inspiration from the films and relentless passion and drive from the exceptional talented development team behind the scenes. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that that's been pushed back so far. I mean, the... Mm, other Aliens game that they did was actually surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting it to be any good, to be honest with you. Um, a friend of mine got it on the Steam sale, and I was kind of like, oh god, this is going to be so... Ugh, just no. But no, he loaded it up and gave it a bit of a play, and actually, it's actually fairly decent. Some a little bit of tension and atmosphere in there, and didn't quite capture the feel of the original film, but it still was a lot closer than I thought it would be, so this is a real shame that it's been pushed back, but... As much as it's annoying to be made to wait like this, I always feel, you know, this is a good a good thing, if you think about it in the right way, because it's better that they push back the release date than try and rush it out for the original date and basically release a buggy game or one that's just horrible or crap or whatever, you know, it's, it's better that they take those extra few months, even if it means, you know, we're left waiting and going, yeah, for those few months. It'd be better in the long run because we're, let, uh, we're given a more polished complete title went on release rather than having to wait for patches and blah 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 and all the rest of that rubbish so although it's a bit of a shame it's understandable anyway guys that's me done for the, for the day i really hope you've enjoyed the video um feel free to give me any comments on any news pieces that you found out about or feel that are worth discussing in the, what's going on in the community and all that good stuff i really want to hear from you guys about all that so yeah please get in contact but other than that just like subscribe and do all the normal stuff of the video and i'll see you again soon